This clip is about the cardiovascular and respiratory system and how it responds to exercise and training. Have a little look at Mr. Bullen going for a run. When we start running around, our heart rate increases. This is because of the fact that our muscles place an increased demand for oxygen in order to create energy. This is done by chemoreceptors detecting an increase in carbon dioxide and informing the body to release adrenaline. This in turn makes the heart rate increase. We also have vasoconstriction, the narrowing of arteries, and vasodilation, the widening of arteries, occurring in order to redirect blood and nutrients to the places of most need, in other words, the working muscles. Furthermore, our breathing frequency increases in order to meet the demand for oxygen. When we finish exercising, everything goes back to normal. And when we run faster, our heart rate increases more, our breathing depth and frequency increases more in order to meet that demand for oxygen again. After a period of training, for example six weeks, there are many things that we will notice within our body. A decreased resting heart rate, which if it drops below 60 beats per minute is known as bradycardia. An increased stroke volume, this could be due to athlete's heart occurring or heart hypertrophy, increased red blood cells, increased capillarization, increased mitochondria, which are the powerhouses of our cells, increased myoglobin, which deliver that oxygen from the red blood cells to the mitochondria. All of these things will contribute to more oxygen being delivered to the working muscles as well as quicker recovery. Don't forget, lung volume does not increase. We just get more capillaries surrounding the alveoli in order to get more oxygen out of the air we breathe.